welcome to my stream. I need to pull my green screen closer so that it gets into the light. Ah, oh, there we go. Hello, hello, test, test, one, two. I had to run an update on OBS. Uh, I decided, I was making coffee. I needed to make coffee because I needed a pick-me-up because I was really fighting the the need to take a nap. I, I almost fell asleep. I went to lie down for a little bit and I almost flat out took a nap. I'm like, oh, I gotta wake up. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go set some stuff up. I wanna go make some coffee, blah, blah, blah. I go make some coffee. And I'm running a little late, but I'm like, I'm gonna sit down and be able to start pretty close to right at eight o'clock. Open up a OBS, update required. I'm like, no, that's the last thing I needed. And I was like, okay. So I was just running a little bit late. Needed to get OBS updated, needed to make some coffee to wake up a little bit. Hello, welcome to the stream, everybody. Hello, hello, welcome. Lady Rock, Angela Whitaker, Turbo1259, Henry Garaki, NCR Soldier, Chicken Nuggies, Chandler Chandler. If I missed anybody, I apologize. I think that's the names that I saw. Welcome to the chat. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the stream. We're uh, at the finale, the grand finale of the Carmel Games series. Uh, after tonight, I will have played all of the Carmel Games games. Um, some of them are, there are videos for, some of them there are streams, some of them there are streams and videos for. It's kind of hard to find everything. I have a Carmel Games playlist, but at the end of the day, one way or another, I have played them all after tonight. I've got five games left, so we'll be playing five games today. Today we'll be playing Babysitting Fun, Greetings from Potato Island, Ozzy, The Ritual, and The Ritual 2, and that makes our five. Welcome, welcome. Green screen of death. Yes, I am finally here. Yeah, I know, I was running a little bit behind, I apologize. Am I shopping for gifts this week? I don't think so. <laughs> I've got Thanksgiving tomorrow. It's Thanksgiving tomorrow, I'll be with family. And then Friday, I'm probably going to be spending some more time with family and maybe some friends. And then I've got the weekend. I work the weekend. I don't really plan on doing much shopping. I know it's like uh, Black Friday and like Cyber Monday. Maybe I'll do some online shopping for like Cyber Monday. No one ever talks about Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday is the Monday after Black Friday. And there's usually a lot of good online deals. So I haven't gone like in-person Black Friday shopping in a long time. Not since before pandemic, of course. Jessica Williams, welcome to the stream. Don't forget to choke the turkey. I won't need to. It's it's already dead. Uh, we are going to cook it, but it is already dead. The cookie is long since gone. <laughs> but hello. I hope everyone's doing good. I got I don't I don't have a lot more to set up, I don't think. I'm just thinking. Actually with the OBS update, I might have to finagle with the game capture again. I might have to. Let's take a let's take a look at that now. Let me let me pull up uh, babysitting fun and see see what I can get see what I can get going here because Sometimes we have to fight. Sometimes we have to fight OBS to get it to actually like capture. Sometimes we got to fight. Let's see what I can get. I've got the game pulled up. We'll see if I can get it to show up on OBS. What is my favorite caramel game? I don't know. I don't know. There's been just so many. No, don't you shark me! Who do you think you are? Uh, do I need to like? I'm not. This it's not showing up. Why? Why you no know show up? You can probably hear it. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> why? Hello. Here it is. See if I can, um, there we go. I was like, I don't know why it's not showing up. There it is. Okay. Sure. Why not? 
Um, I don't know what my favorite um, Carmel Games game would be. The Vortex Point series was a really good series. There's been some really good moments in a lot of the games. I'm not sure what my favorite single game would be. I actually don't know. That's hard. I didn't have as much um, emotional attachment to Carmel Games um, originally when I started playing them. And then I, kind of as we went along, they've been really like goofy, like a goofy experience. And by emotional attachment, I mean um, like Inca Games was. But uh, Carmel Games kind of became, over time, eventually one of the staples of this channel. I don't know. I'd have to look at the whole list and decide. I'm not sure. The Vortex Point series, though, of course, was probably their best series. It was really good. So maybe Vortex Point just as a whole. I know that's probably kind of like cheating a little bit. I remember you say Vortex Point was your favorite. Yeah, as a series, I think so. Do you ha do I have a worst Carmel game? Um, I don't remember what the name of it was. There was this really early one that I didn't care for. Um, not because it was like especially bad. It just wasn't like especially good. It was one of the early ones where I don't think it was a point and click. I think that it was like a sh like a shooter or something. <laughs> something weird. Wasn't there like really early on like a weird? I f no, I th was it the Jambalaya? I think it was like some Jambalaya one where you had to like get food off of a conveyor belt or something. Do I sound insane? Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it was really early on in their library and pretty early on when I started playing their games and it just didn't fit the aesthetic. It wasn't a point and click adventure. So uh, that was probably like my least favorite. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? And Toilet King? Oh, did Carmel Games do Toilet King? Did Carmel Games do Toilet King? Then yeah, maybe Toilet King was the worst. I think I know what Toilet King was. <laughs> that was pretty bad. That was like an arcade game about cleaning a bathroom. It was actually like good, but it it was you like it was good if you were into that style of game, but it's not point and click adventure like the rest of Carmel Games is. You don't know what I'm talking about? That's okay. Carmel Games in their early days experimented with a couple of different games. And I don't even think their games were available on their website. This is this was available else. You had to you had to go digging. You had to go looking. It's Turkey Month. Fly Red, welcome to the stream. You don't like Madhead? It's too hard. Um, I don't remember not liking Madhead. That one was, I played that fairly early in my series, so I don't remember it too well at this point, but I don't think it was too hard when I played it. But I think I played it as a video series, so it was a few episodes long, maybe? I don't remember. Like someone paid a million dollars for Carmel game? Wait, what? What are you what are you talking? You don't know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Look at the title screen, we're playing babysitting fun. <laughs> what if there's a toilet in every living room? What if? We we could only dream. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Buy the GameCube. Derrico, welcome to the stream. Is this really going to be the finale? It is. I have five games left of Carmel games that I haven't played, and we're going to play them tonight. Madhead is hard without the words. Were there no words in it? I don't really remember Madhead super well, but I remember there being words, I thought. Oh, the rich guy paid a million dollars for the dirty toilet. I know what you're talking about now. Now I know what you're talking about. Hey, before we start... How does the sound sound? Is the music too loud or too quiet? Henry, you have been asking for that submachine series for a long, long time. <laughs> um, did I? Is it? I don't remember where sub. Uh, submachine is. Is it on Steam? 
Did I, did I make a note of it or did I wish list it? So there it is. Yeah, it's on Steam. I had it in my wish list. So I had it uh, like in my notes. Um, on Steam, so the submachine, uh, actually, like, honest, I, I almost forgot about it, but honest uh, answer about the submachine games. So on Steam, the developer, I don't know how to say his name, Matus Skutnik or something like that, he's working on a game called Submachine Legacy. Which is a complete remaster of the entire Submachine series. And I wishlisted this actually a long time ago now, because I was hoping that maybe we would get a release date on that sometime soon, and I would wait until they released the remaster, and I would play the remaster. So that's what I was waiting for. But I'm on Steam right now, and it still says coming soon, not available, so... So I don't know. So with the submachine, I don't know. What I wanted to do was wait for the remaster, but I don't know how long that's going to be. So uh, your, the answer to that question is I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I kind of forgot about it because, like I said, I was waiting on news for the remaster, and then I kind of forgot. Sound is good. Muy silencio. Silencioso. Is it too quiet? It doesn't... On my audio on my audio form, it doesn't look like it should be too quiet. Why does the paper look like the Inca Games map? I see it. I'm well then again to be fair, the Inca Games map was like squares. <laughs> so like any anything with squares on it is gonna kinda look like it. Although it is that kind of yellowish color. This is more like off white beige or something. Alright. I'm gonna say the audio is probably good. Cause I've got the sound is good, smiley face, and then moy silencioso. So I don't I think that I think that averages out to okay. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome to Let's Play Babysitting Fun. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. And this is the next game in my Carmel Games series. Let's hit that play button. Now son, me and your mother are going to the movies. It's your job to babysit your little brother. Oh no, babysitting Dane Insane? Fine. <laughs> Dane Insane? Who named someone Dane? Is Dane a name? I don't want to make fun of someone's name, but like the only time I've ever heard the word Dane is like Great Dane, like the dog. Well, then again, that maybe that means something. I've never heard of someone named Dane before. And stay away from my stuff. I'm gonna touch all your stuff. Yes, Dad. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> Goodbye, oh, Dad. Get hi. out of here. I assume you're here to help me babysit Dane Insane. Don't worry. We'll have fun. Duh, what does that mean? Are you babysitting me, too? You see, my dad's an explorer, so he has lots of cool artifacts all around the house. Okay. I've recently found this treasure map, which I'm sure is leading to a great treasure hidden right inside this house. Why would he have a treasure map to some place in his house? You know what? You wouldn't think... Our dad would need a map to find treasure in his own home. You wouldn't think. Now that mom and dad are away, it's time to do some searching. What's our mom? Our dad's an explorer, but what is our mom? Is she an explorer? Where is she? Why is she out of the picture? We've got an arrow and then an X. I don't know what this means. This cannon goes all the way back to the Civil War. And in case you're wondering, it's not loaded. Do we need to load it? Oh my god, are we going to load it? I hope we load it. I've got some paper towels. Oh, no, it's toilet paper, in fact. There's a room, there's a stairs, there's the door. I have nothing to look for outside. All of the goodies are right inside the house. All right, if you say so, but we're not locked in here. We could leave if we wanted to, but we don't want to. Ooh. Is there anything down here? Let's try, Let's before we go upstairs, let's check out the entire first floor. Is this Dane insane? Oh man, Dora again. Don't you ever get tired of this? She calls herself an explorer, yet she never knows where she is. Hola, soy Dora. No, I love Dora, and when I grow up, I'll marry her. I don't know about Besides, that one. Besides, it's not like there's anything else for me to do in this house. We could go looking for treasure. No, wait, we don't want to share the treasure. Never mind, continue wa watching Dora. I'll try to find you something to do. Uh, Ari, is that what we're going to do? I guess we do have to keep him distracted. I think he's plenty distracted as it is. Oh, rug. There's a trap door in here, but I have no idea what's the correct combination to Excuse me? What's it look like? One, two. Oh, my God. This could be it. 
This could be our time. This could be this could be it. Ah! One day, one day. <laughs> All right, I don't see anything else to grab or do, but we will come back. I'll come back for you. Do you want toilet paper? I don't think he'd want that. I don't know. He's got this kind of cross eye thing going on. Maybe maybe he wants strange and mis- Wait, oh, what? Do we need to go this way? Oh, that's trippy. That's trippy. Doesn't it feel like if you go through this door, we should be coming in from the left because he's standing over here? That's weird. That's trippy. All right, I've got some matches. I got a matchbook and uh, some matches. Can I light some matches? Can I light some toilet paper on fire? That is a negative, Captain. Can I get some wine? I'm under 21. I don't think I should drink it. Uh, but I'm over 21. I can drink it. It's too late for milk and cookies. I go to sleep at 2200 hours. What time is it now? <laughs> what do you mean it's too late? Uh, what does this clock say? Like, it's 9.05. 2200 is like 10 o'clock, right? I guess we are going to bed pretty soon. I'm an adult. I eat cookies darn well when I want to eat cookies. This cupboard is filled with detergents. No need to open it. Trust me. But how can I eat Tide Pods if we don't open the cabinet? This cupboard is... All right, fine. I've got a thing here. Star, moon, triangle, triangle, moon, star. Okay, so we've got some shapes that I don't know what, what they go to just yet. We'll find something in this house. I think we're going to have to go upstairs. Am I going to have to, like, soak this toilet paper in this, like, milk for something? It doesn't work. I don't know why, but I, I feel like we're going to use those for something, right? Actually, I really enjoyed Dora the Explorer when I was a kid. When I was a tiny kid. Itty bitty kid. Short for Damien? Well, that would be, like, Dame, not, like, Dane, right? Why is there a cannon? Very good question. I have no answer. Why is, uh, isn't the professor dead from Vortex Point Seven? Oh, I don't remember. Maybe. Shoot the ploopy? I don't know what a ploopy is. I got a cannon. We can't shoot nothing with it yet till we load it. Unless I put the toilet paper in it. It doesn't work. Cause I can probably I can probably light it. I need to load the cannon first. We're gonna load this cannon. We're gonna do it. We gotta find something to load it with. Ooh. I don't, have, I don't have a number to actually call. Daniel Muller. Oh, Daniel? Is that Dane? Dane the Insane? 555-6800? Why? Uh, what do we call it? What do we call it like, Daniel for? I don't know. I, I have no reason to do this. I'm just gonna call and say hi. It's like 9.05 at... Oh, god darn it. I hit the one instead of the zero. That's not gonna call him. I'm sorry, guys. I hit one and so God. Oh, no, yeah. Five, five, five. Yeah, five, five, five. Sixty. Eight. The zeros take a minute. There we go. That should do it. No? I called five, 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 sixty, eight hundred. Five, 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 sixty, eight hundred. Oh, that's the fax number. It's not even the, that's not even the telephone number. Well, what the frick? Wait, this could be our chance. This could be... Oh, no, it's not. Got a couple of doors, so let's try the left first. Left is always right. This is Dad's forbidden closet of mystery. Ooh. He keeps it locked, so I won't be able to open it. I need to find a key. I don't have a key. I can't get it open. Is it jammed? It looks like there's a crowbar in it. I need the crowbar to get to the crowbar. Oh. The clock downstairs looked like it said 905 so i'm just gonna oh my god it was we fixed the time i got the crowbar <laughs> a crowbar is useless against this closet's armored door armored to find its key armored why is it armored what's inside this thing i'm terrified all right let's try the other door okay i've got seashells in the sink she sells seashells by the sea, sea sink. <laughs> uh, plum, plunger? That's a toilet. Duh. What do you, what is da? Da! Look at the time. I'd better start working fast. Okay, there was a clock here too. Can I clog the toilet? I probably shouldn't have done this. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. Are we gonna make Dane clean it up? Flush? Oh I God! I definitely shouldn't have done this. I don't know why we did it. <laughs> why did we do this? Oh boy, we're in trouble. I don't I I honestly don't know why we've done this. 
Why have you done this? I can't believe you've done this. Can I talk to Dane? You're never gonna believe this one. I set a pool upstairs. Yeah, it's a pool. It's definitely a pool. A pool? In our house? Yeah, let's go play. Yeah, just go to the bathroom upstairs. Don't forget your swim trunks. Sure. I can't believe it. A pool right here inside our house. So refreshing. It will impress Dora for sure. It's made out of toilet water, so I'm not sure about that. Oh, he was sitting on a piece of Dane paper. Was sitting on this note. Okay, Dane, you turd. Uh, we gotta go uh, open a safe. Uh, I forget. Is it this thing? Yeah, it's this thing. So we gotta do star up, right, down. All right, star. What I say, right? Up, down. I think I think I confused myself. I think it was uh, up and then right. Up and then right moon. Yeah! Bowling ball! Bowling ball. I'm gonna load the cannon. I'm gonna... If I can figure out how to get to the cannon, I'm gonna load the cannon. The cannon is loaded with mom's bowling ball. Now I just need to light the cannon fuse. Let's do that! Boom! I got a mysterious note. Blah, blah, blah. 846. Is that like the phone number? It's not quite a phone number. That's half of a code that I need for that one safe in the floor down here. Hmm. I don't have the other half though, unless I can I can try calling this number again. Maybe I maybe I clicked it wrong. Maybe I clicked something wrong. I can try it again. Five, 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 six, eight, zero. Zero. Nothing. Nothing. It's a whole load of nothing. Maybe, maybe, um, 6,800 is like this thing. You know? I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Who the heck goes to bed at 10? When I was a wee lad, like a wee wee lad, uh, I think my bedtime was like eight or nine or something. See, Luis likes Dora. Dora's great. Mancanta. The kitchen tiles look like the one on the map. Do they? Have I not noticed this yet? They, I suppose they do. And if that's the front door, and this is like the counter or whatever, then it would go right here. The tiles in the kitchen are a bit shaky. Ah, uh, let's crowbar this sucker. That's right. The X on the treasure map marks this tile. Da 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 da. I've got forty nine twenty six, and the key to the success is volume twelve. I think I know what we, I think I know what we gotta do with that. <laughs> Tiburon, baby, <laughs> no me gusta. <laughs> Don't make fun of my laugh. <laughs> While looking at the note, there are some arrows. Maybe try clicking on them. What this one? What note? What are you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? I also don't know when you said that, so I could be I could be behind on the chat. I apologize. Forty nine twenty six, I think, gets us into here. Ba -da -da -da. There are Forty Ooh. keys in here. Which one should I take? Uh, like twelve. Because of this thing, right? The key to success is volume twelve, right? Oh, that's not that's not where I want to be. <laughs> Bye, Dane. Da 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 da! I've got Claire has the answer. Who's Claire? This isn't Claire. Oh, oh! I can do more uh, people. Claire, Claire has the answer. Five 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 ninety eight ninety one. What did I say the last two were? 91? Hey, you've reached Claire's office. Please leave a message after the tone. Oh, if it's you, Prop Johnsy, the password starts with one, two, three. Prop Johnsy? Prop? Is that supposed to be prof? Like Professor Johnsy? Prop? What is prop? What does prop mean? 
One, two, three, you got it. Actually, you know what? That's hilarious, because that means I was closer than you all believe. When I punched in one, two, three, four, five, six, half, half of the code, half of my code is correct already. <laughs> when I did one, two, three, I was closer than you realized. All right, eight, four, six. Eight, four. I found the hidden treasure. Like literally, I only had to change two numbers. I had four. I had four out of six correct. I had four out of six correct. We found the gold. We found the booty. The bullion. Son, how did you open this door? I hide those golden coins in here because they bring bad luck. Uh-oh. Are they like cursed coins? Bad luck? Come on, Dad. You can't be serious. Are they like that, that pirate treasure and we're all going to turn into skeletons like in Pirates of the Caribbean? What's that? Who ruined the entrance wall? I did. And the kitchen floor too? That was me. And turned the bathroom into a pool? I blame Dane. And stole my bowling ball? I needed that for the cannon. Okay, I think I believe you now. How do I get rid of the bad luck? We don't. Run. Fast. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Anthony! You'll never catch me alive, copper! <laughs> ah! Claire's our mom. Was Claire our mom? I don't think it was. Maybe it was. Dane is not wearing a swimsuit. Uh, I didn't see. I mean, his his half his body was underwater, so I don't know. That was easy. Well, the Carmel Games games aren't usually super difficult. Sometimes they'll have like one or two like kind of stumpers, but that's about it. They're usually usually pretty short. I probably would have been stumped for a little while on the the treasure map, like the X in the kitchen. I didn't immediately notice that connection, so I probably would have been stuck there for a little bit. But then one of you guys mentioned it, so I was like, "Oh yeah, the, the, the floor of the kitchen." All right, let's put that down. That is one game down. I have four left to go, and then we have played all of the games. Four more to go. Next up is Potato Island. The greetings from Potato Island. Potato. You guys like potatoes? Are you a big fan of potatoes? I'm a big fan of potatoes myself. I like a good potato. One out of five? What do you mean one out of five? Hey, look, it's the same kid. <laughs> potato. Potato head island. Welcome to potato. Couldn't they just send Anthony to, to McDonald's or something? Maybe he likes McDonald's. That wouldn't work. He's in trouble. Yeah, I will gain the power of Carmel Games. One out of five. Oh, one, one down out of five. Got it. I understand. Anthony strikes again. Yeah, I'm going to have the... I have the power of Inca Games twice. And I'm about to have the power of Carmel Games. My point-and-click games uh, uh, superpowers are only growing in, in intensity. Soon I will be unstoppable. <laughs> uh, let's get that bumped. Bump it. Bump it. Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Play Greetings from Potato Island. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. While our house is being renovated, Mom and Dad sent me here to Potato Island. I remember my grandpa once told me about the magical powers of the enchanted potato statue near the island's dock. Potato. Maybe I should offer it a sacrifice. Potato. Wait, is our house being renovated because literally the previous game we, we blew it up with like a cannon and flooded it? Actually, this game literally canonically happens right after the previous one. That's great. Sacrifice. Enchanted statue. Kid, your grandfather was just messing with you. There's no magic on this island, just potatoes. I'm the magic man. I will be the judge of whether or not there is magic to be found on this island, sir. Thank you very much. And you are... My name is Shaughnessy. That's not I a name. I am a licensed <laughs> tour guide. I know everything there is to know about Potato Island. I also know that your grandpa knows squat about this place. It sounds like you know my grandpa and you're trying to hide something from him, Shaughnessy, if that is your real name. I'll prove you wrong, Shaughnessy, if that's even your real that's name. That's literally what I just said. <laughs> that's what I just said. Oh my god. 
said, my humor is just on point with just these point and click games, honestly. What a giant potato. I should probably offer it a sacrifice. Or at least bring it something good to eat. All right, we'll do that. We need to find a burger. Oh, my. Today's generation. As time goes by, they become <laughs> more and more stupid. I mean, you're going to be laughing when it works, though. We got a dial here. Ooh. Oh, I can actually turn it like this. Neat. I don't know what the combination is, so this this is not going to work. Let's reset it. <laughs> uh, can I talk to you more about anything? Hello again. What more can you tell me about Potato Island? One of the most interesting facts about Potato Island is that the island itself is in fact a giant potato floating over the water. <laughs> Excuse me? Do you want to run that by me again? The whole island. Potato. The whole island's a potato. This rock's a potato. That fence is a potato. The earth I stand on, potato. That's fascinating. What else? That's pretty much it. Oh, and the stuff your grandpa babbles about. That's just a pile of baloney. That's not how you spell baloney. And also, you just told me that the whole island is a potato. So I believe anything at this point. I'll prove you wrong. All right, let's go explore this potato island. Spuds and such. Ooh, I could go for a spud and a sud. I could use this grill to cook something. But I better put charcoal inside it first. All right. I also need something to cook. I we are literally gonna make a burger. A B C D. Ah, oh, bummers. Anything else I can nab? Uh, can I go inside the spuds and suds? It reminds me of there used to be a place um, not too not too far from where I I live. It's but it used to be I used to live closer called. But anyway, there used to be a place called Dog and Suds. Um, you, you could get like hot dogs and probably little like like smash burgers or something, but it was supposed to be like hot dogs and like uh, sausages and then like soda or whatever. Uh, it didn't last very long. I don't know if it was like badly managed or what, but I went there like one time ever and the wait was atrocious for a couple of hot dogs. I can go inside. What's this? It's aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. I'm going to turn it into a hat. I'm going to wear it on my head to prevent the aliens from reading my thoughts. Um... All right, north, west, east, south. Uh, fair enough. Okay, don't know what I'm doing with that info yet. That is Cornelius Pennypacker, the famous explorer who discovered Potato Island. Potato. Born in 1903. Okay, Cornelius Pennypacker, 1903. I bet we need to remember 1903. Pile of potato. Yeah, there is lore in this game. They're all they're all in the same universe. It's true. You've been here? You've been to Potato Island? Potato. Or, or do you mean Dog and Suds? How much for the fries? Is that what that is? Those are big fries. That would be $40. That They are big fries, though. That's a lot of money for french fries. Is it for the whole barrel of french fries or for one giant fry? You're at Potato Island, buddy. We're making these fries from potatoes that were hand-picked by a blind monk. <laughs> what? Each potato is being washed using organic rainwater and sliced carefully by a one-eyed ninja. I I was already sold on just the, the sheer size of them, but now that I want to actually see this process. Do you offer tours for watching these french fries be made? I would pay for that. That's the shopkeeper's coffee. I want it. I have my own coffee, but I can always have more. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Spuds and Suds. The only place in Potato Island where you can buy food. We sell french fries and potatoes. I'll have it all. How much for the potato? One quarter. Like, just a quarter? Just one quarter? My wallet. I must have lost it. Or maybe Shaughnessy stole it. Tough luck. A potato is a quarter, but the french fries are 40 bucks? Is it a small potato? Let's uh, take a gander over here. We got some. Look at this! Like, look at this weird mushroom house on a potato island. What on God's green potato am I looking at here? Four, eight, six, twelve. Six, what? Uh, is it like four sides? And this is like one, two, three, four, five. So that's a lot more than six sides, though. It's six squares, though, right? Four, five, six. Yes, and that's six squares. So this thing is uh, five squares, right? What is this? Eight something. It's like eight 
kind of like eight sides, right? Is this 12? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's exactly what it is. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. This one's 12 as well. It's got five squares, 12 little square sides. There's a quarter in here. I've got a quarter. I could get a potato. But before we do, I want to explore some more. Oh, what is this? A pair of tongs? Because I got a tong something? I can't reach it from here. And in case you're wondering, I can't climb this tree either. Tree climbing is prohibited by law on the island's premises. Who cares? I'm stealing things. I stole treasure out of this chest. I'm a criminal. I still can't reach it. All right, fine. All right, fine. We'll get a ladder or a step stool or something. The door is locked. Well, what do you mean the door is locked? Kick it down, busted, break in, do a do a break and entry. <laughs> uh, something's glowing. Over. Uh, can I take this rock? There's a key under the rock. I bet that opens this door. Oh my god! Uh, you close the door. Close it this instant. Make me, old man. Relax, man. It's closed. My name is Anthony. Who are you? I am the prize wizard. I develop dressings and frying techniques for making french fries. Fry wizard? He's the fries wizard. I love it. That's cool. Yes, yes, but unfortunately my latest research flew right out the window. Oh. The winds here are terrible. Oh, I think I saw it. It's stuck in a tree. Uh, is that where they were going to end that conversation? I've got 5371. We'll figure that one out in a minute. Uh, we've got a broom. That maybe we can ride like a witch into the tree. I can't get it open. Uh, I can't get it. It's got a hole. It doesn't. Can I put something in the hole? It doesn't work. What's the hole for? It doesn't. All right, I'll leave that alone for now. Red red onion. It's purple. Mayo. Oh, we got some sort of color puzzle. Ooh, we got guaca. Who bottles guaca? Well, maybe that's not that weird. Guacamole, mustard, barbecue, red onion, ketchup, mayo. I don't have any knowledge of a combination of colors of things. What's this? What? What? I think this is not the correct. Okay. All right. Okay, so is this something I can figure out now or something I need to come back to? It looks like It looks like things kind of increase as they go from top left to bottom right, right? Like one 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 I bet this is one and I bet this is one and this is two and then we got like two 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 probably but then it's like two two and it's probably like a three right here two oh four even Oh there's some kind of sequential something or other going on here, right? Maybe. Possibly. But there's also a colors thing going on here. I'm not entirely certain about it. Let me think for a second. We got the greens go in kind of a good diagonal. The but the blues don't. Is there a way to fill in these empty spaces or do I even need them? I might not even need them. And there's a one all the way over here. I don't know what the pattern is. I want to come back to that in a minute. Because I've got a couple other things I can mess with. So you just sit here all day experimenting with new french fry recipes? Yes, yes I am. Although my lost research did slow my progress. And you, why are you here? I'm trying to get that giant potato statue near the dock to speak. Oh, I see. Well, feel free to take anything you want from my house that oh. might help you in your quest. Don't don't mind if I do. I planned on doing exactly that. Ashton, welcome to the stream. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. We have uh, a quota, and with the quota, I could get a potato. Hello. Welcome to Spuds and Suds. Yeah. How much for the potato? One quarter. Here, Here you, go. you go. Yeah. Thank you. Come again. I've got a potato. No, I think we're going to turn that into fries or something a little bit. Can I do something with your... It doesn't... Can I do something to your coffee? It doesn't... I, I don't have a reason to. Anyway, where was that safe? I think that safe is for this thing. Was it right here? Yeah. Because I think it's uh, five to the right, three left. So five, three, seven, one. Do I... Oh, it started on five. 
Do I need to go like this way to five? I guess that's, more, that's, that's going left though. That's counterclockwise, right? Here, let's reset that. So we need to go to the right to five. Yeah, it says right five. I already forget what it is. Uh, three, seven, one. Three, seven, one. There are matches in here. I've got matches. I can light fires. Can I feed the potato? Oh, mighty potato. Have this potato as an offering. Um, nothing happened. To be fair, we don't know that anything should happen. Uh, can I use the broom to get that recipe out of the tree? I can. This must be one of the Fry Wizard's pages that flew in the wind. What does it say? Oh, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't I, work. I can probably go return it, maybe. Here you go, buddy. Here you go, Mr. Fry's Wizard. I think this belongs to you. Oh, splendid. It's my research. Thank you so much, young boy. I have something for you in return. Splendid, splendid. It's a riddle. If you solve it, you'll be able to fulfill your goal here at Potato Island. Okay. Oops, shoot. I didn't mean to go back. Purple, yellow, green, brown, red, white. Purple, yellow, green. Pur purple, yellow, green, red. Oh, there we go. I did it. I got shoes. Charcoal. No, it's charcoal. I got charcoal. I've got charcoal. Uh, I can put that in the thingy. I can put that in here. Oh, I should pour some lighter fluid on it. I don't have that. I do not have lighter fluid. We haven't figured this out yet either, have we? A, B, C, D. Have, do I need to type in, like, spud? You know what I mean? Have we figured something out like that? Because I can't just match stick this yet. I could use this grill to cook something, but I better put charcoal inside it first. Oh, I bet we got to put the potato in the aluminum foil. Yeah, we do. We've got a wrapped potato. And we're going to use those tongs later when it's all hot. When it's all hot and bothered. Um, I think we really need to get into this. So we gotta think about we got to think about this puzzle, I think. I think this is the next thing we got to do. All right, we've got a lot of missing circles here. I'm trying to think, because if we kind of go six, five, five, four, three, if this was like five, four, three, two, I bet it's a four, right? Because four, three, three, two, one. Why is it four, three, three, two, one? And five, three, three, three. Probably two one or one one or something four four something one. What that doesn't make any sense Hmm, it might not be four then count the colors I have to count the colors Well, I got how many like you mean like how like But, like, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven or so colors or something like that. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight. I've got eight colors in total. Apparently, well, that's if you count black, which I'm guessing you actually shouldn't count black. Um, so seven colors in total. If I try to count, it looks like... Do any of them duplicate? So, like, yellow goes one, two, three. And there's a yellow five. There's no yellow four. But does that mean it could be in one of these or no? Maybe it's yellow four. Like, blue's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, my God. Is it yellow four? We thought it was four. Is it yellow four? It was yellow four. I nailed it right away. <laughs> I'm like, yellow's missing a four. I have no idea what this disc is good for. Okay, all right. That's a thing. I've got a disc. I've got a... Uh, I actually don't know what... The I was hoping to get lighter fluid. Um, can I put the disc on some... I need to figure out that other safe that we have. Can it, it doesn't work. Does the disc go on something? It doesn't work. Have we seen something that needs it? Oh, wait, that, that northeast, southwest, whatever, majigger. Uh, this thing. Yeah. Oh. I, uh. I can't spin or rotate it in any way. Ooh. 
so like north is nine west is zero east is one and south is three i guess do i use this like five three seven one or something because the only thing i have left is this this needs letters that's the only thing i have left right uh because yeah i got into that okay oh, pick up this rock no Yeah, I think that's the only thing I got left to do. What does it mean? That's the shopkeeper's coffee. Sure is. I have no I have nothing to say to that man. 1903. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy's uh 1903 there. But like uh 1903. Ah, oh, that's just the order. That's the order. <laughs> I get it now. I was trying to think, well, what letters am I going to need? It's the order, 1903. So, E-N-W-S. Ah, poop. I always go too far. Like, I see the letter, and then I, I like, freak out. Like, I, I panic, and I click. What, what was it? W-S? Here it comes. Hey, there's the lighter the lighter fluid. fluid in here. Now I can pour it on the charcoal. Now I should start the fire. I can start the fire. Hooray! Hooray! Fire! Now can I do the tongs with the potato? No, just put the potato on there. Let it bake. It's, it's nice ready. and baked. Before it burns, let's tongue it out. Put the hot potato in my pocket. Now I've got a hot potato. Can I get some butter for this thing? Oh, mighty potato. I brought you a sacrifice. It's a great and mighty baked potato. Thank you, Anthony. It's about <laughs> time someone will bring me something to eat. A talking statue? I must have had too much alcohol last night. Probably. You, Shaughnessy, for your disbelief in the Potato Island's magic, I give you this. <laughs> dead. Thank He's you, dead. Anthony, for restoring the magic of Potato Island. I give you this. What if he just shocks us too? He just blasts everyone with lightning like Emperor Palpatine. Infinite power! Yeah! A potato. I just gave you a potato. Wow. Thank you. I believe the giant potato has been pleased. I gave you a potato and you gave me a potato back. You know what? I'm not going to argue. Y you know, technically he's the one who burned a potato to death. You should have hit him with the lightning. Ah, the potato was already dead. Silence. Oh, I was hoping after he's in silence, it'd be one more shock of lightning. <laughs> Infinite potato power! <laughs> oh, we did it. Kerber, welcome to the stream. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my brain is all kinds of funny shapes and colors. All kinds. That's the only way to moon logic your way through. Which, actually, Carmel Games isn't usually too, too bad with the moon logic. Sometimes it's like one thing or two things, but not too, too bad altogether. Two games down, three left to go, and we will have played all of the Carmel Games games. Three more to go, everybody. And we will have done them all. What comes next? Next, we're playing Ozzy, which I think is some kind of, um... Ozzy has two endings? What?! Okay, well, he's some kind of otter. One good, one bad. I hope we get the good ending. You guys enjoying the stream so far? Did you remember to hit that like button? <laughs> Three endings to be exact. I thought it was two. Well, let's just see what we get. Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Play Ozzy. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. Ozzy, save me! Oh, look, it's a girl otter, because she's pink. <laughs> your Ozzy can't save you, Peggy. You're mine. Mine! <laughs> well, that was a yeah ha 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 not a moo ha 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 moo ha ha Peggy, oh, we gotta no. save Peggy. My darling Peggy is in trouble. I must save her. Uh, it, we've got the, we've got the guy. We've seen this guy a few times. He's always in a hot tub. Always, this guy is always in a hot tub. 
All right. Well, I've got a well. That's an old wishing well. Well, well, well. What have we here? That's an old. All right. Fair enough. I think we might need to make a wish. Oh, what the frick is this? Oh, 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 oh. I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. I'm just lining up the zeros for now. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. I'm not going inside a hot tub while someone else is in it. Oh, I, I, I was hoping we could just wake him up or have a word. I know. Can I? He's asleep. I better not wake him. Yeah, but we have to get rid of him if we're going to hot tub. I want some of that hot tub action. Oh, look. When the Z's float, I can click on the Z's. He's asleep. <laughs> That's so goofy. Okay. Let's go to the left. Everything. Oh, it's uh, okay, we got some mushrooms and stumps and a, clearly you're a witch. Hey, it's the candy guy. Hello, what's going on around here? I'm having a sale on fishing rods. Want to buy I one? I do. It's only 599 gold I coins. I don't have a single gold coin. I'll get back to you. It's a lot of gold coins, but I want to go fishing. I love fishing mini games. I don't know why. I, 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 I don't. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Glick. How are you? Terrible. There's a hole in my roof. I was just noticing that. It's terrible. I have troubles too. The evil wizard Baragor kidnapped Peggy. Baragor. 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 Yes, but I have a hole in my roof. <laughs> I, I, I'll never get over that. I love when they just have symbols and they're like. Baragor, baragor, baragor. Uh, can I fix your hole in the roof? There's a hole in the roof. Maybe if I get like an extra piece of aluminum to put over your roof. There's a balloon. Why is it not going anywhere? What is inside that balloon? That is freaky. Hi, Mr. Morton. How are you? Terrible. My shack window is dirty. I can lick it for you. It's terrible. I have troubles too. The evil wizard Baragor kidnapped Peggy. Yes. But now you have a dirty window that needs to be cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to clean his window. The window is dirty. I see that. Can I go inside a shack? I can't reach it from here. Oh, but oh, wait, hold on a sec. I can't reach the balloon, but I can reach the treasure chest. All right, well, we've got symbols here that look very familiar, but they've got colored outlines. And I don't know what to do with that information just yet. I think we need to count the flowers. I bet that's what we need to do. We need to count the flowers and then go to that wheel and figure out the number to the symbol and then put in the symbols. Let me come back to that because that's exactly what I think we need to do, but let's explore a little bit before we do. Oh, hey there. You're the pizza quest guy. Hey, how can I cross the river? Hello, can you hear me? I guess not. I guess he's gone deaf and stupid. He really did. He really did react. The water in this river is toxic. Better not try to fish. Oh, well, maybe he's dead. Maybe he drank some of the water and got paralyzed and he's just standing there dead. I can't get there. I must find a way to cross the river first. All right. Maybe we can knock this tree down? Maybe somehow I can use this tree to cross the river. All right. Dope. Is there anything else I can do here? Well, we have got some colored flowers. Should I, I might need to like make a note of this because I'm going to forget. So we got, we got blue flowers. I need a blue flower with red thorns. I need a blue flower, red thorns, blue flower, red thorns. Okay, so we got one blue, we got two red, and we got one, I'm going to call it white or yellow, off-white. And then over here we got a, another red and another white, and we got a blue, and we got another white, and we got another red, because that's these five. I don't see any other hiding flowers. Over here we've got another white, another red another white another red and a blue hiding up here i see you sneaky little blue flower i see you and over here by the well we've got a blue and we got a red and we got a white and then down here by the mushroom we got two blue and two red and one white and I think that's what I see. Now, if we take a look at this guy, blue is six. Now, I assume these just need to be connected. I assume we don't need to flip this around, right? So if six is the three lines for blue and the white... Now, I might be wrong about this, but the white is supposed to be seven. 
So that's a two looking thing. And then red is nine, and that's a drawn in circle. Now, if that's not quite right, then we need to flip this around to be something else. And I will come back. We will get this figured out. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about a thing. So blue, I think, should be the three. Oop. The three. There we go. And this should be the two. And this should be, oh, wait. Is this, no, red it should be the circle, actually. The filled in circle. And this should be the two. There's a gold coin in here. Ah, we did it. I'm so smart. I am a smart. I have a coin. I've got one golden coin. I can go to the wishing well with the golden coin. Try to get all three endings. Maybe. Are fishing rods made out of gold? It is a lot of gold. Howdy ho, Viennese. Welcome to the stream. I want to go throw a coin in a well now. Wee! It really works. I should have asked for my dear Peggy instead. <laughs> Whoops. There are exactly 599 gold coins in here. Yes, I'm a talking weasel, so I can also count very quickly. Oh, is that what you are? You're a weasel? I didn't know what you were. I thought you were an otter. <laughs> I don't know things about animals. Here's some money. Hello, what's going on around here? I'm having a sale on fishing rods. Uh-huh. Well, take my money, please. Take all my money. Also, is there a thing on this tree I can click on? This hole looks like it's glowing. I've got a fishing rod. Can I go fishing in the toxic lake? The water in this river is toxic. Better not try to fish here. Can I fish for that balloon? It doesn't work. Can I fish in this river? In your hole? It doesn't work. Can I fish in the here? Oh, God. I don't want to be around when he wakes up. Why did we do that? Why do I need pants? It no one has asked me for... Oh, wait. Can we use the pants in the window? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Your window is clean. Clean enough, anyway. It's still got a bit of a ring to it. Oh, thank you, Audrey. You can have my slingshot. I plan to use it on my window, but now that it's clean, I guess I don't need to. Yeah, your window was so dirty, you were just going to smash it? That's just silly. That's just silly. <laughs> Angel, I'm going to put in your... I'm going to allow your... In chat, that's so funny. Chandler, why are you not in a happy mood? We're uh, having a good time in our stream. I not trust balloon. I not trust balloon either. I think I shoot balloon with swing shot. Pop. Why do balloon have umbrella? Why why balloon have umbrella? I have umbrella. Well, we could put that in your hole. Boop. There, I fixed your roof. Fixed your roof. Thank you, Ozzy. I can't pay you for your work, but you can take my swordfish. I'll take it. Thanks. I'm going to use that swordfish to saw down this tree. Hooray! Now I can... Can I talk to this guy? Who are you? I'm guarding Barragor's cave. Oh, now he talks. Only those who are wise enough to solve my riddle can visit him. He has no time to waste on peasants. Well, I'm not a peasant. I'm a magic man. So riddle me your riddle, funny man. I'm wise enough. Bring it on. All right. All you have to do is tell me who drinks the witch's brew. The witch. What the frick? House color, tenant, drink. What? <laughs> so this has nothing to do with this riddle. We have to do a different puzzle. The tenant drinking blood lives directly next to the magenta house. So we got... Okay, so I think we got one, two, three. We got three house colors. We have three tenants, and I think we have three drinks. We have three drinks. Okay, and we got, I guess, three spots here, right? The tenant drinking the blood lives directly next to Magenta. Okay. Frankenstein lives directly to the left of the pumpkin juice drinking tenant. The pirate lives directly next to the... I don't know why that's in all caps, but directly next to the White House. The tenant in house one drinks blood. The third house is not blue. So the blood, whoopsie, sorry. Blood, 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 blood is in the first one. It has to be. Um, the tenant drinking blood lives directly next to the magenta. So this one has to be magenta. And if this one's magenta and the third house is not blue, then it has to be white. Right? 
So let's kind of w- w- run through this. Tenant drinking blood lives next to the magenta. Perfect. Frankenstein lives next to the pumpkin juice drinking, which has to be one of these two. The pirate lives directly next to the White House. So this must be the pump, the, the pirate. Sorry, I forgot what I was even thinking. Pirate. The tenant in the house, one, third. Okay. Frankenstein lives next to the pumpkin drink. The mm, So we got a pirate. The third house is not... Oh, so this has to be blue. I forgot to change that. So that has to be blue. Frankenstein lives directly to the left of the pumpkin... Oh, perfect. Frankenstein lives directly to the left of the pumpkin juice drinking. And since this is already has to be the pirate, you must be drinking pumpkin juice, which means this has to be Frankenstein. I think, right? Because otherwise Frankenstein would have to go here, but he can't. He can't be here because there's no one. He wouldn't be to the left of anybody. So he has to go here. Perfect. So that only leaves one option. So this is like water or something. And then this would be like the ghost. Yeah. Done. That's easy. The ghost drinks the witch's brew. That is correct. You now may pass. Why does the ghost drink the witch's brew? What kind of cryptic nonsense is this? I could pass. So are they. Hi. I've been expecting you. It's the me. The choice is in your hands, but I hardly see any chance for you to win. Okay. The answer is in my... Can I click on my little paws? He's not going to kick me out? He's not going to boot me out of here? Oh, I had three... I had three... Oh. Next time. <laughs> I didn't even realize there were three. <laughs> I just clicked on the first thing that I saw that I could click on. Muhahaha! Oh, did I lose? Can I play again? Is there not a reset button? I should have looked around a little bit better. Is it random? Like, is there any hints? Are you kidding me? Do I have to do it again? Nice. I immediately, I immediately failed. Is there not a reset? That is insane. There needs to be a reset. Well, we're not done. Well, we got to open it back up. I know. I got the bad ending. I got the bad ending. We aren't going to stand for this. I have to go through, like, the whole thing again, don't I? I have to do, like, the whole thing again, don't I? I'm going to do it. I don't really need to worry about that, but... Okay, so does anything change in the game? I don't... I doubt it. I don't think I need this. Uh, I might. I don't know if I have to do things in a certain order. Uh, do I? Do I even need to talk to any of them to get this? This uh, is three. I hope it doesn't change anything, or I'm going to be kind of upset. <laughs> there we go. I got my golden coin. We're gonna speed run it. I got a. Fishing rod. I had to think about what I'm doing. I'm like, I don't remember what the order of things are. I had to think about it. Ah, oh, come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Pop. Pop goes the balloon. Swordfish. All right, I don't remember what this was. Uh, it was like blood, uh, pumpkin, water. It was uh, Frankenstein, pirate, ghost. And uh, I don't remember. The third house is not blue. Was it this one? The tenant drinking blood lives next to the magenta. Oh, this is magenta. Third house is not blue. So this has to be white. I couldn't remember the house colors. That's easy. Daddy. <laughs> I couldn't remember the house colors. I'm back! I'm back, you sucker! <laughs> Quit wasting my valuable time and pull one of the ropes. Give me a hint. Give me a clue, you dirty dingus. Can I talk to Peggy? Well, I, what I should have done all along, because left is always right, I should have pulled the left lever! I did it! We win! Well, now I have to find out what's in the middle, though, right? 
Which one's the middle? What does the middle one do? <laughs> do I have to do it one more time? I did it! In one minute and 56... Can we get faster? I bet we can do it even faster. <laughs> Speed run to the middle. Speed run to the middle one. Let's do it. 2.9 out of 5 games. Yeah, we're so close. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, three. Circle. Two. Speed running. Speed running it. Speed running it. Oh, I went too far. Oh, God. I've, I, I've ruined the entire run. Uh, 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 uh. I have to wait for the little cutscenes. Oh, the the waiting. It hurts. It hurts my soul. There. Okay. I already forget. This was like blue, magenta, white. This was uh Frankie Pirate Ghost. And you were blood, you were pumpkin, you were water. Middle one! What to do? He's dead! <laughs> Speed run! One minute and five seconds! What was our previous time? <laughs> we did it! We did all three of them. So I guess one ties him up and captures him. One straight up murders him. And the third one, we actually straight up just get captured and lose. But now we know. Well, that was Ozzy. We have two games left. And we will have played all of the Carmel Games games. And that is, we have to play The Ritual and The Ritual 2. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to play The Ritual. And then it's sequel. A minute, 50, 56 seconds. So we shaved off 51 seconds. That's pretty good, I think. That was pretty good. That was pretty decent. Poggers. Don't mind me, I'm just checking on stuff. Don't mind me, I'm just checking on the stoof. Make sure stoof is up to stoof. Okay. Ready? Ready for this? Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Play The Ritual Part 1. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. What are we doing here? As you know, Ms. Rage Ms. is sitting Rage. in the teacher's lounge right now, grading our English test. Don't remind me. She'll probably flunk me. Ah, you know English. Not necessarily. I found an old ancient book that tells how to summon a demon from hell. And that demon will do anything we say. Let's summon a demon. We will summon the demon right now. Send it to the teacher's lounge and command it to tell Miss Rage to give us an A++++. I don't think the three pluses changes anything. I think A plus is the highest. That sounds like nonsense. But I have nothing to lose. So how do we do it? Yeah, what else are we going to do? It's simple. Bring me a piece of red chalk, a sulfur-scented candle, and some graveyard dirt. Why don't you do it? Well, fine. I'll go gather this stuff. He looks shifty. He's going to get us all murdered somehow. I don't know how yet. He's going to get us all murdered. I've got a cauldron or a pot. I've got a puzzle of some kind. Look, it shoots and ladders. Or snakes and ladders, I guess. Uh, uh... I don't know what this means yet. Typically with the snake, you go down the snake and the ladder, you go up. But I don't know what to do with that just yet. I got a hook. I got a laundry. It's a washing machine. Do I need to wash something? Do I, do I need to wash? I've got like minuses and pluses. Uh, what the frick does this mean? Hang on. Hang on. We have to try. One, two, three. Ah, drat. There's... The orders are different. It's like minus plus, minus, plus, 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 minus, plus, minus, plus. I don't know what that means at all right now. We'll come, we'll come back to that, maybe? Let's explore a little bit before I puzzle it out. 
Oh, we can go to places. Cool. Where are we now? Here? Oh. What's going on? What's going Oh, are you, you? Oh, that's the teacher. Ms. Ms. Rage or whatever. Attention. Starting next week, the school office has a new phone number. Or number. Has a new phone number. It's 321-3211. I think I can remember that. I think I got that. Is there a telephone in here that I need to I call her with? I can't use it without Miss Rage catching me. I better wait till she leaves. Cool. I think I'm gonna have to call her. I can't take it. All right. We have to get rid. Of, we have to get rid of Miss Miss uh, Riz you Rage. Insane? The last thing I want is for Miss Rage to see me in here. Well then, I guess we better go, huh? All right. Well, let's come back to that. I've got a candle. Hey, lady. Hello. I want to buy a sulfur-scented candle. I've seen you in another game. Which one was it? I don't remember. I've seen you recently. Sure. It costs one thousand dollars. You don't look like a person who has one thousand dollars. I think you were like, uh, I think you were on a stand. You were trying to end something. You were like protesting something. I don't remember what it was. I don't. Oh, what a cruel, cruel world. Relax. I'm open for negotiation. Okay. Give me a fluffy pillow for my chair, and I'll give you the candle for free. So what you're telling me is this candle is definitely not actually worth a thousand dollars. You just want a fluffy pillow. Okay. I need to find a fluffy pillow. I've got a. I need a quarter to use the phone. I don't have a quota. I need to get a quota so I can call that phone number for the school. I can't click on anything else, it seems. So I think we're going to go looking for a quota. What's this? Oh, this is where we are. Oh, yeah, it's got the rhino. Where, where are we? What is this building? Is this a house? What is this place? Let's go to the cemetery. Oh, quota! A quarter. I found a quota. Good evening, sir. May I please go inside the cemetery? No. Why do you need to go in there anyway? You young hoodlums vandalizing the cemetery. No way I'm letting you in. I like how your kiosk is in the shape of a casket. But please, I must visit my dead grandmother. See, I have a completely legitimate reason for being here. Oh yeah? What's her name? Bertha. Um, Regina Falange? Ha! Falange? I every tomb in this graveyard, and there's no Regina Falange in there. Now where did I put my chocolate cake? That's an interesting way to end that thought. Uh, I will go looking for your chocolate cake. It's dirt. I guess I can't use it as graveyard dirt because it's outside the cemetery, but I'm sure it has a different use. I'm sure it also used to be graveyard dirt. Can I put it in my pot? It doesn't work. Oh, it would work. If you tried, it would work. It's someone else's garbage. Ew. Then I'll take it anyway. I've got a sack of trash. I've got a sack of trash. It's like, um... I've got a uh, a jar of dirt from Pirates of the Caribbean. I've got a jar of dirt. I've got a jar of dirt. Well, I've got a quota, so I can go make a phone call. Eat the, what do you mean eat the garbage? Nom, 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 nom. It didn't work. It doesn't work. Midnight Cinema, is that what it was from? I knew it was from one of those games. Must eat. Kelsey Pop, welcome to the stream. Eat. Must eat. Okay, let's make a phone call, shall we? We gotta call three, two, one, three, two, one, one. It's ringing. It's ringing. Won't someone answer the phone? It drives me crazy. I have to do everything around here. Well, it's like after hours at school, I'm pretty sure, so of course. Oh, she's, there she goes. She's gone. Okay, we have to run. We have to run. We have to invade her personal space. I'm not thirsty. Uh, can I fill my pot with water? I filled the pot with water. I have a pot filled with water. Mm, vanilla cake. Vanilla cake. I need chocolate cake. Oh, I can put dirt in it, can't I? I can put dirt in it. I've also got my red chalk. I could just, like, forge the grades by now, can't I? Okay, we've already done that. Um, I don't see anything else. I would love to take her coffee? Tea? Probably tea. That's a teacup. All right, I don't see anything else to do. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the cemetery and put the cake in the dirt. dirt. On a sponge cake? I don't think so. Maybe if I add something to the dirt first. Oh, to make it like mud? Sure, I can put water on it. Dirt into mud? Interesting. Very interesting. Now we can put the cake in the mud. Instant chocolate cake. I like the way you think. It's a mud cake. And now we can give that to this guy. I found your missing chocolate cake. Just don't eat it before you let me inside. That's so nice of you. You're welcome. You know what? 
I'll let you go inside the cemetery. Have fun. That first part sounded so genuine. I feel so bad for him. You've been getting into Call of Duty. Oh, did you tell me that? I, I remember talking about Call of Duty with somebody. It must have been you. Ooh, spooky, scary, cemetery. Cemetery dirt. I just need something to collect it with. Can I empty the trash? Can I empty the trash bag? Uh, I could fill the bag. I don't know how to empty the trash. I know you guys were saying eat it. How do I eat it? <laughs> if I, if only I had more time. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Do you mean this time it will work? Ah! I think we need to find a clock or something with a time on it. I've got the chalk. I've got the chalk. I think I need the candle. I didn't see anything else to actually do. I didn't see anything to do. Can I put it to the trash? It does. Can I put it to the trash? Oh wait, the trash it could be the pillow? You could put the trash as a pillow. I don't think she'd want that. Yeah, I wouldn't think so either, but it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Was there a clock in here? New. No. You want chalk? Look what I've got. Excellent. Can I put the trash in the laundry? You're on to something, but I better do something else first. Am I? Am I on to something? Am I? Do I need to solve this thing now? Do I need to? Oh my God, I'm going to have to solve this. Don't die. Are these colored in any way? No. I think I got it. The left. This is the left one, right? So we gotta go plus, there's nothing on the left though. So minus, minus, and plus. I don't know if I should start. With, yeah, start with the six. Minus, minus, plus, right? So, minus 8, I'm at negative 2. So, that should be, like, 3. Which I have it at, I think. And then this one should be plus, plus, minus. Like, plus, plus, minus. What, was that what it was? Yes. So, the snake, plus, plus, minus, is, like, 3, 8, and then back to 5. So, this needs to be, like, 5. And then the one on the right was minus, plus, plus. Minus plus plus. So like four plus five is nine. Minus nine is zero. So three? Three, five, three? Plus plus minus? I think I'm on to something, but I don't know what exactly. Wait, eight minus one, three. Yeah, it should be three. I'm on to something. Spooky, scary skeleton sends shivers down your spine. The stones. Pilot, welcome to the Stram. I'm glad you like them. Five, two, nine. Why would it be five, two, nine, though? Wait, so minus, minus, plus, plus on the left. Or do I need to, like... Oh, do I need to actually go up? Actually, if the one on the left is the ladder and it goes to here... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I know. I think I get it. So this this should be my starting point, but I've got a ladder. So I actually need to start with the 8, don't I? Uh, so if I start with the 8, minus 5 is 3, plus 7 is 10, plus 9 is 19, minus 11, right? What did I just say? What my, uh, 19 minus 11, right? So 8, right? Should be an 8. And then... Right? Am I right about that? The snake. Should I go up to the 4? That doesn't make sense, though. The one in the middle. Oh, actually, this one? Should I start with the 11, actually? 
plus plus minus. No, I think I just start here. Plus plus minus. So I think the middle was fine, and then the one on the right, um, which is minus plus plus, needs to go up to here. So plus the, oh, nope, that doesn't make any sense. I'm wrong, I'm dumb. Plus are the pegs. Minus are the missing pegs. What? What what do you mean by what pegs? Wait, what do you mean what 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 pegs? There are no pegs. I've got puzzle pieces, ladders and a snake. Pegs. Oh, the pips? The little pips on the puzzle pieces? Oh, okay. Oh, so like there'll be a pip out and a pip in. Oh. So, yeah, this one would be five, because pip, pip, and then inside, inside. Oh, so, okay, that's where you're coming up with that. So, this would be a flat piece, so it's on the bottom. Pip, pip, minus. So, pip, pip, minus. So, that's the two. The circle on the sides. Yeah, I'm calling them pips. But when you said pegs, I always think of, like, if you have, like, a board, like, a peg goes into a board. You know what I mean? So, I was like, what do you mean pegs? And then we've got a, I think nine, right? Minus plus plus nine. There it is. Yeah, you were telling me the answer, but I wanted to figure out why it was the answer. You know what I mean? Because otherwise it's just a spoiler. If I don't know the why, then it's just a spoiler. And it's like, oh, you know what I mean? I have a pillowcase, but it's just the, I need to fill the pillowcase with trash. I now have a smelly pillow. Wait, wait, hold on. It's a smelly pillow. Wait, we need to wash this pillow. We need to make it not so smelly. It smells great. I doubt that. It's still filled with trash. But let's see if it works. I've got a pillow. Look what I brought you. Ooh, it smells like orange blossom. Thank you. Here's yeah, your sofa candle. Thank you. Yay! Now I can go bring that to here. Uh, not. Nope. Nope. Wrong place. I'm sorry. Bring that to here. I got my candle. Look what I've got. Excellent. What do I still need? So, how are you, Joe? <laughs> Not good, unless you can bring me all the items I request. I brought you the chalk and the candle. Remind me again which items? It's simple. Bring me a piece of... Oh, yeah, the graveyard dirt. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the graveyard. I don't have anything to put graveyard dirt into. If I only had more time... I forgot. I literally forgot about this. Time. Oh, what was, the, what was on the clock when we... What time was it? Was there a clock in here? There's a dial right here. Like nine, like nine o'clock something. So not It's. We just saw a clock, but I don't remember what time it was. It was like nine something. Is there a clock here? I have nothing. Hello. Time. If I only had the more time. If I only had the more time. The stones at the graveyard? Oh, these ones that I'm standing on. <laughs> uh, when you said stones, I was looking at the gravestones, and I was like, what about them? They're just shapes. The stones that I'm standing on. So, like, nine, six, three, six. Oops. Three. No. Sorry. Six. Three. And then six. I've the got... Cemetery is full of surprises. I've got a pot. i got a bucket of soil. i got a bucket of soil, and I'm going to put this bucket right in your face. Look what I've got. Excellent. We've got it all. It's showtime. It's showtime, baby. <gasps> it's exactly black 10 o'clock. Black and white. Reaching out through space and light. Be he far or be he near. Bring us the demon Negaton here. Oh! Uh, it worked. Oh! It actually worked. Oh, God. What have we done? Demon, I command you to go to the teacher's lounge and make Ms. Rage give me and Gideon an A++. I think he's going to eat us. Look at him. Your wish is my command. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he's doing it. Miss Rage. 
I order you to give Gideon and Joe A++ plus 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 on their test. She's just gonna say no. Excuse me? A student goes inside the teacher's mound without permission? What are you talking about? He's not a student. He's he's a devil. And you just barge in here giving orders? Don't you have some respect? Now come with me this instant. Nah, that would teach you. It didn't work! The demon was useless! The demon wasn't very demonic at all! I guess we're gonna have to double down our efforts and try again in the Ritual 2! Which is right here, part 2. And that is, in fact, all I have left. We have the Ritual Part 2 to play. How did I get 9636? Um, the, the stones um, in the graveyard, the little uh, broken piece was pointing to the left, and on a clock, the left is 9 o'clock, and then it was the bottom was 6, and then it was the right, and that's 3, and then it was the bottom again, and that was 6. Yay. Four out of five games, you're right. Is the game coming up on screen? No. What the heck? Oh, now it is. Perfect. Ninety-nine percent completion, guys. Ninety-nine percent completion. One more game. Don't be sad for what's about to end. Be happy for what we've been through together. <laughs> or something like that. You guys ready? This is the last Carmel game game that I have not played yet. It's exciting. It's been kind of a wild ride. They um they were still um not for very long, but they were still making games very briefly when I started. And now they don't even make games anymore. It's kind of wild. Sure, we'll do it again. <laughs> A Carmel Games round two, the caramelizing. <laughs> when am I going to be live again after this? I'm not sure. Definitely not tomorrow. And I think I'm going to be out with friends Friday, so definitely not Friday. And then Saturday is my D&D night, so probably not until Sunday. Probably. Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Play The Ritual Part 2. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo, and this is the final Carmel Games game that I haven't played yet. Let's get to it. One week later. Oh, a whole week. So much for our stupid demon. I got an F on the test. Yeah, it didn't work at all. Yeah, me too. But don't worry. I found a different spell. A spell that summons the darkest, most twisted entity on the face of the planet. We're going to summon Cthulhu! Kim Jong-un? <laughs> oh, Kim Jong-un! It kind of kind of sounds like Cthulhu. Maybe, I don't know. But whoever it is, I'm sure it will teach Miss Rage a lesson. Okay, so what do we need for this ritual? It's simple. Bring me basil, a cauldron, and graveyard dirt. Well, I kind of had a cauldron before. It was a giant pot, and I already had graveyard dirt. We almost had all these ingredients already. I can find a cauldron in my grandmother's house and basil at Pizza Express. Okay, I can go for some pizza. But it's going to be hard to get inside the graveyard after what I did to the caretaker. That is true. Uh, we, we made him eat a mud pie. Are there any more items in here? I've got a screwdriver. Fantastic. I don't have to deal with that puzzle anymore the washing machine is broken maybe because i shoved a bag full of garbage <laughs> in it last week that is true we have a different combination on this lock now don't know what the what the combination is so how are you joe not good unless you can bring me all the items i require all right fine okay i don't see anything else we can do but i've got my screwdriver we're probably not gonna wash anything this time all right I've got a few places to go. Only a few. Just a few. Let's go to the glasses first. Grandma, Grandma, are you here? I need to borrow a cauldron. Is our grandma a witch? Pizza Europa. Call now. 555-6283. <laughs> Get it. Make yourself at home. Clean my kitchen. Heart granny. 
All right, Granny. I already don't remember that number. There's a phone number right there. Granny's library card. Oh. Having fun isn't hard if you got a library card. Uh, that rhymes. Banned from the library. Why is she banned? Her name is Gideon's Granny. <laughs> card number 7262. That might be important. 7262. Can I call the phone? 7262. It worked! A washing powder. Okay. I thought the washing machine was broken, though. All right. Oh, I got money! Free money! Free money! I love free money. That's the best kind of money. 6283. I want to try to remember that number. I think we got to call the pizza place. Uh, I can't click on the phone for some reason. All right. I think that's all. I, I don't. I didn't see a cauldron. There's no cauldron. I came here for a cauldron, and there isn't one. I am disappoint. Much disappoint. Hey. Welcome to Pizza Europa. What would you like to order? Can I have a pizza? Nothing. I just wondered if you could give me some basil leaves. Fine. That too. No. Then maybe I can order a pizza with basil? Yeah? No. What? Huh? What do you mean? Do you not have basil? It looks like one of the flags is missing. That's right. Someone stole the Latvian flag. Okay. Oh, so that's why you're upset. Yes. Sure. I can't call my place Europa Pizza without the Latvian flag. I'll be honest with you, I don't, I don't know where that is. I also don't know what these other two flags are. I'm not good at flags. I'm really bad at flags. I'm really bad at countries. I'm really bad at geography. It was not my strong suit. I was more like a physics guy. Hey, you can't go in there. All right. I am just get. I'm just getting shot down left, right, and center. Hey, you can. Fine. Welcome to Pizza Euro. Nothing. I no. Fine. I don't. I don't think there's anything I could do here right now. I need to get a flag. I need to get a flag. Okay, fine. Let's leave. We haven't been to the graveyard yet. Hey, buddy. Well, well, well. If it isn't the guy who gave me a sponge cake with mud topping. Who? Me? Couldn't be. Must have been my evil twin, Larry. What? Who? Me? Oh. You must be confusing me with my twin brother. That's what I said! Twin brother? How dumb do you think I am? Well, you did think that mud cake was a chocolate cake. True. Touche. Uh, right. So, why are you here this time? I gotta go back in to see my grandma Bertha Flangey or whatever. I must visit my dead grandmother again. If you want me to open these gates, you'll have to bring me a real chocolate cake. You still trust me to bring you anything at all? You're crazy. I won't settle for a cheap one. I want a chocolate cake from the cake shop on Maple Street. Uh, okay. But that place is expensive. Deal with it. Oh, I can go there now. We've unlocked a location. I'm down with that. What's going on Fireflies. here? Fireflies. Such a delightful sight. Do I need to catch some fireflies, make a little lantern out the of them? It is closed. Only the caretaker can open it. That's what uh, we used to do that in the summer where, where I grew up is we'd catch fireflies and put them in a jar and we'd have little holes in the jar and we'd like have like fireflies in a jar. It's very dark in here. Hello, I want to buy a chocolate cake. A real chocolate cake, not a mud cake. I'm sorry, but there's no light in here. I can sell you nothing. <laughs> do you want to maybe do something about that, sir? Um, so this is what I need the fireflies for, clearly. So what I need, I've got some money, I've got some cleaning detergent, and I got a screwdriver. Have I even seen something I can screwdriver? You play d, &D? I do. I'm actually the dungeon master. What, guess what comes out in less than two weeks? Uh, 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 uh trying to think of like anything else that isn't hello neighbor too after carbo games you could play this game called pot belly hill mystery it's similar pot i lost your comment would you say pot belly hill mystery i will look that up later i'm not gonna play that tonight but I wrote it down. <laughs> and I'll look at it in a second. Angela, you gotta go. No, we're so close. You must stay. If you do have to go, thanks for hanging out. 
The keypad? The keypad. What keypad? What keypad? Uh, have I... Keypad. I've got a screwdriver I can put right here. It doesn't work. Oh. Keypad. This keypad? It doesn't Is this where we need to put the... The Europa phone number? I don't think so. Can I actually do that? Can I go back to grandma's and use the phone? What was the number? Clean my kitchen. 555-6283. I mean, it's worth a shot. 6283. I have no idea. Um... The washing machine is broke. Can I put the detergent in here? It doesn't work. I didn't think it would. I've got some coins. There's a screw here. Can I use the screw from here? Oh, I can. Oh, we can take the plate off. T two, four, five, seven, maybe? Is that the right color order? Oh, eight. Oh, whoops. Hang on. Two, four, five, seven? How do I know what color order it needs to go in? Have we seen some colors? Two, four, five, seven. Out. Two, four, five, seven. I don't know if I have to hit like pound or something. I don't think so. Green, red, yellow, blue. Have I seen colors? I mean, I got the puzzle pieces here, but like. I don't. I mean, none of them. I can't. I guess it's kind of blue, but it's like white. I don't think that's. I don't think that's it. You didn't actually leave? Yes, you must stay. You must stay. Stay here forever. Stay forever. There must be some colors. Try in a different order. Well, yeah, I figured it's a different order, but which order? I didn't know if there was a clue or a hint somewhere, because I could be at this for a while. Like, I could do 2457, I could do 2547, I could do 2745, I could do, you know, I could do lots of things. So there's got to be a color somewhere. Rainbow? What is the rainbow? Roy G. Biv? So, like, red would be first, so that would be, like, four, and then orange would be, like, five. And then, and then green, and then seven. That would be the rainbow. Brute force it. Nah, that'd take too long. That, 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 uh, that darn well take too long. You crazy. You crazy. I throw money it at you. It doesn't work. I throw money at you. I have no reason. I had no reason to talk to that man. That boy is crazy, and I got no reason to talk to him. It does. It does. Can I bribe you with money? I have no reason to do that. Oh, I do. The gate is closed. Only the caretaker can open it. Fine. Fine. I have no reason. I'm looking for colors. I mean, I've got colors in the flags. Do I need to look up the flag of look Latvia? The puzzling... No. Then maybe I can. No. It looks. That's right. Someone hey stole Google. The flag. What does the Latvian flag look like? Is it four colors? No. It looks like that. <laughs> red, white, red. Or occasionally like these things. So that does not help me. <laughs> cheater? What do you mean oh, cheater? So that's why you're yeah. Germany versus anime real. What? I have no idea what that I don't I don't know what you, I don't know what you what? 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 Welcome to peace. What? Then maybe No.
There's gotta be a clue though, right? Is the clue in this thing? Try clicking on the door? That leaves. Like, the, oh, you mean like of the wardrobe? When I do, it just brings me to this. Like, like the whole thing just brings me to the keypad. In the pizza place? I did do that once earlier, actually. He just yells at me. Hey, you can't go in there. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even check these trash cans. I'm okay. I just, I just don't. There's gotta be, there's gotta be a, a way. Is the clue here? Somehow? Check Granny. Granny wasn't home. Oops, that's not Granny. Of course, I click on the pie to go to Granny. Granny. I can't call that number, which I find really weird. Granny! Do you have any colors here for me, Granny? Granny! I mean, we have this, like, design on the rug, but I don't think that means anything to me. Look, Gideon. Make yourself at home. But while you're here, clean my kitchen. My kitchen is disgusting. It needs a fine touch. I don't want you to just guess numbers. We know what the numbers are. I want to. I want to know why, like where the colors are. Like, do we just do we just honestly actually have to brute force it? Like that seems like that seems like cheating, right? That seems like silly. Maybe the colors on Granny's fridge? Does she have colors on her fridge? I mean, I guess you could say it's like green, yellow, and red, I guess. But like, it's four numbers. Left to right? Well, there's not really... What would the, be the four? It's because it's four numbers. Unless it's just three numbers and then like a pound sign or something. Because that would be green, green, yellow, red. And then, I don't know, pound. And we don't even know for sure if any of them are duplicated. Like, it could be, like, 2445. We don't even know if they're, like, duplicated. That's my kind of issue here. The washing machine is... This is a stumper. I just, I don't see anything that would be a clue. I don't want to know what the code is. I want to know how to solve the code. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me a string of numbers is I'm not going to do it. I want to know how to get the code. The picture. What picture? This picture? I can't even look at it. I can't click on it. Like, what about the picture? Because you say it starts with seven. Seven is blue. And I might be colorblind, but I can barely even see blue on here. But that's like right here and right here, I think.
Can I get can I get a confirmation? Is it actually supposed to be the picture on the wall? Because I can't click on it. I can't zoom in on it, and it's really hard to see. And it's four digits. I guess we I guess we've got four like rows. So like you could start with like red because the ladder is there. Like is it red, green, yellow, blue? Is that what it is? Red green yellow blue that would be that would be four two five seven though which i know is not what you said you said it's seven seven five four two why would it be what color is seven seven's blue would that be going up well no because that would just that would be seven five two four right well, then this is kind of hard to tell. Like, would you do yellow or would you do red? And that's if you do... I don't think it's the picture on the wall. I think you lied to me. <laughs> and Or maybe not. You're, you're welcome to, to defend yourself if you like. But it's got to be something in that room, though. Right? Like, I'm not seeing anything anywhere else. So I would... I believe you that, like, maybe it should be the picture on the wall, but I don't have anything. Like, I can't click on it. You think brute force is the answer? That's just so dumb though, right? You think the ladders have something in, something to do with it? I don't know. Because I can't zoom in on it, so it's hard to even see. It looks like the ladder goes red to red and yellow to green. Cake guy's creepy. Yeah, he's uh, he's stuck in there. Like, uh, I can talk to him. I think we've Hello, talked to him. I want to buy a truck of cake. I'm sorry, but there's no. Yeah, there's no light, so he's not selling us anything. That's the thing. If it's the ladders, is it like red to red to blue? But then it's not even connected to yellow. You know what I'm saying? Cake guy is creppy. He's very creppy. Very creep. Much creepy. Well, what the heck? Five, two, four, seven. Two, four, five, seven. Seven. Five four two. There's an empty jar in here. Seven five four two was just going like seven five four two, which is actually the um, combination lady rock said it was. I mean that's going like biggest to smallest. I don't know if the, if if it was just brute force, and that's a very weak puzzle. You know what I mean? I've got an empty jar. I just I want I want to know. I wonder if there's like a walkthrough or a hint. Maybe maybe if I use the hint system, it would tell me. I don't want to use it now because I don't want to get another hint for what's coming next. But like, if there was a color or a pattern I was supposed to find, I want to know what it was. And if it was just brute forcing, that's kind of annoying. That's like really annoying. Well, enough of that. Let's go get, collect don't our fireflies. What do you mean don't do this at home? I used to do it all the time. I got light. Oh, thank you very much. Now I can finally see. Here is some raspberry sauce just to show you how grateful I am. Thank you. I don't need that. I need a cake. Yes, yes. But what about my chocolate cake? No problemo. Just bring me a lot of money. Here you go. I, I've got money. Thanks. I Was that enough money? You said a lot of money. It was just some coins. Well, I got myself a chocolate cake. That worked. That actually worked. I have nothing to... All right. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go take my chocolate cake to this guy. Here you go. An authentic chocolate cake from a cake shop on Maple Street. You can even see their logo on the box. It smells good, too. All right, I'll let you in. Say hello to your grandma for me. I can't do that. She's dead. All right, we've got uh, a, a cloth. I've got a rag. I've got yeah, a white cloth. A 
white cloth. See, the notches aren't in the stones anymore. I guess the caretakers uh, fixed it. Cemetery dirt. I just need something to collect it with. I've got my washing powder. It does. My detergent. My sauce. It does. Fine. What do we got here? I got some algae. There's mold on this tombstone. I'll take it. I've got some mold. I got some mold. I've got a combination here. Here lies Joyce. She'd rather not, but had no choice. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is right now. Is this related to one, two, three, four, five, five words? Joyce. It's Joyce. Or maybe it's not. Oh, look. no, I need a Y. I was spelling Joyce wrong. I'm stupid. C and then E. Joyce! Got it! What's the deal with hiding a bucket inside a tomb? Sick people. Now, they're quite healthy, actually. I got a jar of dirt! I got a bucket of dirt. Now, with the raspberry sauce, I'm going to put it on the white cloth so that we have the Latvian flag. And I'm going to give that to you. I found your flag. I'm not sure it's my flag, but it will do. It smells bad. I better get it clean. Uh, uh, it should smell like raspberry sauce. Now that he's gone, I can sneak into the kitchen. Okay. I oh. just remembered. I need to buy washing powder. I'll wait for my shift to end. Oh, well. Oh, I got washing powder. Here, I also got you washing powder. Um, thanks. I'll be back shortly. Please keep an eye on the place. Will do, buckaroo. You can trust me. I'm going in. You can't you stop me. Employee? Yes. Um, maybe? <laughs> the kitchen is off limits for customers. Are you the new employee or not? Absolutely. Yes. Very good. Now, where is my blue cheese? Uh, I've got some mold. Mm -hmm. There you go. I don't think he'd want that. Uh, blue cheese. I don't have blue cheese. Stay away from my fridge. I will not hesitate to fire you. Can I take your cheese? cheese? Can I put the mold on the cheese? Your blue cheese, chef. There we go. Finally. Now I can eat it during my break. I'll be back soon. Keep an eye on the kitchen for me. Oh, you're going to get really sick. You can trust me. You might want to get close to a bathroom. Uh, he's gone forever. Uh, what can I take? Any any items I can take? There's a safe over here. Oh, my. Oh, my God. That's a lot of colors. Okay. Can I go in here? What the? Oh, that's a lot of numbers. I got numbers and colors. How many numbers is it? Five, five, five. It, it's the it's the number for Europa. It's the number for the Europa pizza place. It's uh five 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 six something eight something. I forget. I don't remember. I gotta go look it up. I was I, I almost remember. Nope, that's not it. Five 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 six two eight three. Two and three are the ones I'm missing. I was really close to remembering. I was very close. Two and three. Da 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 da. A cauldron. I've got a cauldron, baby. I got a cauldron. Now the colors should be the flags, right? So black, red, yellow. Oop. Black, red. Oop. It was already on yellow. Oop. Yellow. And then it's blue, red, yeah. A blue, blue, black, white. Good God. Blue, black white yeah blue black white and then the latvian flag was like white red white oops or was it red white red god darn it god, god darn it there's basil in here red it was red white red god i got basil I got Miss Basil, and I think that's everything I need. I think I've got all the things. We can go perform the ritual. Look what I've got. Excellent. Look what I've got. Excellent. And Basil. Look what I've got. Excellent. We've got it all. It's showtime. It's showtime, baby. We can do it. It's the I witching call hour. I the evil power to help us in this darkest hour. Come to us who call you near. Come to us and settle here. Ms. Rage. We summoned Ms. Rage. Here? No. We must have made some kind of mistake. She's the most horrible thing in the universe. How did I get here? Gideon, go. I should have known. You two just bought yourselves one month's attention. 
You can't do that. Uh, uh, you're under our command now. No, make it two, my. No, make it three. I'll teach you. A you can't just keep going up. <laughs> wow, that took me forever. What a finale. That was the ritual too. We will never get that A plus on our English assignment. It's never going to happen. And now we have played all of the Carmel games. We did it. Wow. <laughs> we did it, everybody. We did it. GG, thank you very much. I'm still upset with that color puzzle. Like, I still don't know what that was about. Oh, well. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm not going to worry too much about it. There had to have been something. Congratulations. It's a celebration. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed the stream. I just finished my coffee. Fantastic. Now, the one thing you guys want me to look up is this Potbelly Hill mystery. Uh, it looks like it's a point. Victory Screech! It's from Mouse City. I'll have to look this up. Uh, it's on Escape Games. It's on. Is it on Congregate? Let me take a look. Pot Belly Hill Mystery. It is. It's on. Uh, it's on Congregate, which makes it a lot easier for me to play. It's by Silver Castle Game. What? Have they made other games? Let's take a look. Looks like it's the only game they've made. I was just curious to see if they've made multiple games or not. So that might be something I take a look at. Not tonight in this stream because it's already a little past 10. So I'm not going to do that right now. But that's worth uh, keeping in mind possibly as a video or future stream or who knows. Who knows? We did it! Happy early Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving everybody. And Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all the good things. November is nearly complete, and then we will be moving on into December and Magicmas and all of the stuff that that comes with. And, um, yeah, next stream we do would probably be on Sunday, which is the 27th. And then I'm going to try to stream that Monday, which is the 28th. And I think maybe the 29th as well. Yeah, we might, yeah, uh, I won't be streaming Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, but then I think we should have a line of streams for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, Friday. So, something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Check out Profoundish. It's my podcast. <laughs> it's up there. My podcast with Alex. It's really awesome. If you like podcasts, definitely give that a look. It's on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple. Do I have a Discord server? I do. Uh, I'm not super active on it right now, but I do, and it's in the description down below. There's a link in the description. You can uh, join me there. Um, Ashton, I don't think he's in the chat right now. He's actually one of the more active people over there, but there's a few. Abroy Games 2. Abroy Games? I've never heard of Ab I've never heard of this. Abroy Games. I'm going to be kind of on the, on the lookout for point and click stuff. Abroy Games. On mousecity.com. Well, anyway, I'll be kind of keeping an eye out. I'm not going to worry too much about that tonight, but I'll be keeping an eye out for stuff to do for the channel coming up. Also, there's like Mazniac stuff that uh, have been ported over to mobile now. We'll probably need to catch up to, and then I'll be on the lookout for other stuff as well. It's self-defiant games. Okay, so you, it sounds like you've got a whole bunch of suggestions. I will maybe in a community post later ask around for suggestions, and that way I'll collect them there. I saw the color wires. There is no an no real answer. Really? It is just really brute forcing? There's just no clue? That is so unlike Carmel Games to be that way. That's so weird. I, like, don't want to believe that. I, I feel like maybe it was supposed to have... Ma maybe it was an error. Maybe it was a bug or something. Where they it was supposed to have something to do with the colored picture, but then they forgot to implement it or something? I would believe that. Because otherwise it feels so weird that they just brute force it. All right, well, that's going to do it for my stream. I've got lots of work to do um, for other things, and I'm going to try to get some of it done before I go to bed tonight. So 
That's going to do it for my stream. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please do all of the things. And until next time, wash your hands. I'm out of here. Bye. Thank you.